Hello, welcome back to our intro to Express.js. In the last video, we set up a very simple Express server with a couple routes handling different response types, in this case, HTML and JSON. And we made sure that those response types were accurately being sent based on the route. In this video, we are going to set up more dynamic responses based on the, the request uh, having either query strings or route parameters. And these are two different ways of making more specific requests, which will help us determine more dynamic responses. So let's open up our code from before. And let's run our server and make sure everything is still in working order. first app. So I'm going to run the server. And now we have that console log which helps us know that it's working. And let's run through the routes. So we have our home route. We have our JSON route. And we also have our HTML route. And that is these three routes right here. So let's set up another route for adding a query string. So let's do another get. And the route for this will be called query. And as always, we have to pass in a function which has three of its own arguments called request, response, and next. We're going to extract query params from the request. And that is simply an object called query built into the request argument in here, right here. And then we're going to return the query uh, string in a JSON format. So response.json and then just return the query as it is. So I now have to restart the server. Now you may have noticed by now restarting the server every time you want to make a change can become a bit cumbersome. So we want to find a more efficient way of doing that. So we're going to install a package called Nodemon and this is a global installation. So do the following, sudo npm install nodemon-g like that, and it will ask for your password and let that run. Nodemon is a, is a, a helpful piece of software. It's a, it's a package that watches our files all the time in a certain project. And if, if those files are changed in any way, it will relaunch the server. So we can just run it in the background and not worry about restarting the server every time we make a change. So it's very helpful, makes it more um, efficient to develop. So now that we have Nodemon installed, make sure you're in your root directory and just run Nodemon like that. And you should see the console log over here. And now we're running the server. And so now, let's test the query. And here is the query route with an empty JSON object. That's because there is no query string. So what we want to do is append a query string to the URL in order to see the query object returned by the response. So let's do key value. And this is the query string, everything after the question mark. So now we get key value returned in the JSON object response right here. If I want to add more key value pairs to the query string, I do ampersand and then keep on adding more values, key value pairs in that fashion. And the query parsing is done for us by the Express framework, which is very convenient. So this can go on forever.
and we can use these query strings and key value pairs to, to generate more dynamic responses. So as you can see, the response here is wholly dependent on the query string being passed in here. So it is not a fixed response like this one, the HTML one. The HTML route returns a fixed response, what's called a static response. No matter, every single time, it'll pass in the same thing. Okay, and that is query strings in our URL, in our URL uh, requests, as opposed to another type of dynamic request, which is uh, route parameters. So we're going to use now route parameters to make more dynamic requests. So let's set that up. So I'm going to set up another route. This will be a get request. And we're going to call it params. But in order to assign route parameters, we have to denote those parameters in the actual route itself. So this is not enough. We have to keep on adding more params. So we do slash, and then we do colon, and then the name of the variable. So that might be name. And then if I want to add another route parameter, I do slash, and then colon, and then the name of the variable, maybe location. And then I can, I can define this route as far as I want to. Uh, slash, colon, occupation. And then I pass in the function, same as always. And I can extract the params just like I did in the query over here. And then I can return that in a JSON response. Now the difference here is that this route that we're defining has to be fully defined when we make the request. So we have to fill out all three values when we fill out the actual URL. So let's go ahead and do that. Also, by the way, notice that we no longer have to restart the server. Nodemon has done that for us. So that's why I'm not restarting this time because Nodemon has already taken care of that for us. So what we can do is we can, we can now type in params slash and then a name, a location, and an occupation. So let's try that. a name, a location, and a occupation. And here I get all three of those values returned back to us in JSON form as we're doing right here. So this is a, an example of a dynamic response based on route parameters. Uh, if I do a different location, you'll see a different response in the, in the JSON uh, and so forth and so on. Um, <clears throat> so you see a different response here. Now bear in mind though, this is not um, uh, as, as endless as a query string. In a query string, you can add as many key value pairs as you want indefinitely. In a route param, it has to follow the exact structure that we have here. So for example, if I leave one of these parameters out, I will get an error because this route is not defined. So you need to fill in all three values or whatever values you have determined in the route itself. And then those can be used to generate dynamic responses. So this is how we handle dynamic uh, responses and requests in Node Express. And, um, and this is a very powerful way to generate dynamic responses in the, using the Express framework. So thank you for watching video three. Hopefully you got all this working, and I will see you in video four.